Beneath the serene waters of our planet, an otherworldly realm of mystery and wonder awaits. These natural enigmas hold the secrets of ages, where history meets the inexplicable. From the mysterious Red River in Cusco to the black smokestacks deep beneath the ocean, some of these underwater discoveries would absolutely leave you speechless. This discovery in a river scared scientists. So join us as we unravel 15 of the most amazing finds discovered ever uncovered in swamps, rivers, and lakes. Number 15, the Red River in Cusco. As you gaze upon this captivating scene, you might be tempted to believe that the river's water has been artfully painted red using sophisticated video editing tricks. However, the truth is far more mesmerizing. Located approximately 100 kilometers from the enchanting Peruvian city of Cusco, the Palcoyo River flows with a genuine and astonishingly vivid raspberry red hue. This natural wonder has become a magnetic force, luring inquisitive tourists from far and wide. The Palcoyo River's unique transformation is a distinct natural gem nestled in the heart of Peru, thriving exclusively during the rainy season. At other times, the river's waters wear a muddy, brownish cloak. When the rains descend upon the land, a remarkable metamorphosis takes place. Not only does the river change its color, but it also swells, deepens, and purifies itself. You might wonder why this peculiar phenomenon occurs in the Palcoyo River. The origin of this extraordinary river lies in the realm of the Andean Rainbow Mountains, a place of astounding natural beauty. These mountains, with their layers of kaleidoscopic hues, are the result of countless eons shaping the red sandstone. Over time, various elements have been added to the color palette, particularly an abundance of iron oxide from the Rainbow Mountains that infuses the Palcoyo River, bestowing upon it its remarkable crimson tint. Number 14. The Great Stone River A stone river is a peculiar natural marvel where numerous stones gather in a sinuous formation, closely resembling a river when observed from above. The world's largest stone river can be found in Russia, nestled within the South Ural National Park, known as Tagan. This stone river winds its way gracefully between two mountain ranges, the imposing Big and Middle Tagan. Stretching across a vast six kilometers in length, it can span up to an impressive 700 meters in width at its broadest points. Tagan, like its fellow Cums, is composed of colossal stone boulders, some of which tip the scales at a whopping 10 tons. As intrepid tourists amble along this stony riverbed, the ambient sounds of gurgling water envelop their senses. Peering beneath select boulders, they may even spy small, meandering streams. The origins of these stone rivers remain an enigma to scientists, though they theorize that these remarkable formations are remnants of ancient landslides. However, the South Ural National Park's website puts forth an alternative perspective, suggesting that Tagane was birthed as boulders broke away from the mountainsides, propelled by a sudden cooling and the subsequent slide downward. Number 13. Lake of Skeletons High in the Indian Himalayas, in the remote and snowy reaches of Uttarakhand, lies a place of strange fascination. At an astonishing altitude of 5,029 meters above sea level, you'll find the enigmatic Rupkund Lake. Nestled at the base of a towering mountain, this site has a history steeped in mystery and intrigue. The lake earned its chilling nickname, the Lake of Skeletons, when a vigilant British forest ranger stumbled upon it during a routine patrol in 1942. The lake, nestled in a steep slope's embrace, is often cloaked in ice. Its size fluctuates with the seasons and weather conditions, concealing its macabre secrets beneath layers of frozen water. It's only when the snow melts away that the strange remains become visible. An astonishing 600 to 800 human skeletons, some astonishingly well-preserved, are scattered across the lake's vicinity. The regional government has aptly dubbed it the Mystery Lake in Tourism Promotions, and anthropologists and scientists have been captivated by its enigma for over half a century. Speculation surrounds the identities, origins, and causes of death of those who lie here. One prevailing theory suggests these skeletal remnants once belonged to an Indian king, his queen, and their retinue who perished in a brutal blizzard some 870 years ago. 
Another hypothesis hints at the possibility that some of these remains could be the remains of Indian soldiers who ventured into Tibet in 1841, only to be thwarted, and after a treacherous journey over the Himalayas, meeting their tragic end on the way home. Similarly, another intriguing hypothesis suggests that this site may have served as a burial ground for victims of an ancient epidemic. A local folk song in the nearby village weaves a tale of goddess Nanda Devi unleashing a ferocious hailstorm as hard as iron, which claimed the lives of unfortunate travelers passing the lake. Nanda Devi, the second highest peak in India, is revered as a deity in these parts. Previous investigations into the skeletal remains have unveiled striking details. Most of the deceased were not of average stature. They were predominantly middle-aged adults ranging from 35 to 40 years old with no children among them. Surprisingly, a few elderly females were also part of this mysterious assembly, and they were found to be in surprisingly good health. In addition, the prevailing belief is that these skeletons were all part of a single group of individuals who met their fate simultaneously during a catastrophic event in the 9th century. Remarkably, the remains of 38 bodies, including 15 women, have been unearthed at the lake. Genetic analysis and carbon dating have taken us back in time, revealing that some of these remains are as ancient as 1,200 years. Number 12. Black Smoke Stacks In 1977, a curious group of geologists embarked on a daring expedition. Their mission? To investigate an unusual temperature anomaly lurking in the depths of the ocean, northeast of the enchanting Galapagos Archipelago. Little did they know what awaited them beneath the waves. As they descended into the abyss, they encountered a mesmerizing spectacle. Towering ten-story chimneys, similar to underwater skyscrapers, erupted with plumes of scorching, ebony-hot, mineral-rich water. These majestic structures were the pioneers of a hidden world, concealed 2,550 meters beneath the sea's surface. And they were exploring it in the world's first deep-sea research submersible, Alvin. These geologists, in that momentous dive, became the pioneers who unveiled the Earth's first hydrothermal vents. Since then, their discovery has led to the revelation of over 500 other vent sites scattered along the world's deep sea ridges, where Earth's crustal plates collide. The water gushing from these vents sizzles at temperatures exceeding 3,500 degrees Celsius, yet it doesn't boil due to the colossal pressures at these depths. As this superheated fluid meets the surrounding cold ocean water, it cools swiftly, giving birth to the enigmatic dense black clouds for which these vents are renowned. The discovery of hydrothermal vents marked a monumental leap in our understanding of the oceans. Number 11. The Tolland Man. In the year 1950, an astonishing discovery was made by Pete Cutters in the enchanting Belko Dal Bog of Denmark. It was a mummy so incredibly preserved that at first glance, one might mistake it for a slumbering man. Even the workers who stumbled upon it believed they had found the remains of someone recently deceased. This remarkable find was buried in the bog, resting about two and a half meters beneath the surface. The mummy lay in a fetal position with bent knees, adorned with a sheepskin cap atop its head, securely fastened by a strap. Around the waist, a sturdy leather belt encircled the ancient figure. A plated leather cord was tightly wound around the man's neck, leaving little room for doubt that he had met a grim end. The rest of the mummy's attire had succumbed to the ravages of time, making it difficult to discern. However, meticulous research hinted at a somber tale. It was determined that this individual had met his fate around two and a half millennia ago, at roughly 40 years of age. Scientists speculated that he had met a gruesome end through hanging, likely as a sacrificial offering to the ancient pagan deities. What's truly astonishing is the impeccable preservation of this mummy. Researchers even managed to deduce that his final meal consisted of a hearty dish, a mixture of flax and barley porridge, consumed shortly before his untimely demise. Number 10. The Unexploded Bomb during an unforgiving drought that has gripped Italy this year, a surprising artifact from history emerged from the depths of an Italian river. It wasn't just any relic, it was a massive 450-kilogram bomb, a remnant of World War II. 
The discovery was made by fishermen along the desiccated banks of the once mighty River Po, which now appeared as a mere shadow of its former self. This 650-kilometer-wide river, renowned for its grandeur, had shrunk significantly due to Italy's most severe drought in seven decades. As concerns about the consequences of climate change mounted, the parched landscape of northern Italy bore witness to this intriguing find. The scorching weather and minimal rainfall levels had left the region grappling with dire consequences. The unexploded wartime relic came to light in July, in the vicinity of the Lombard town of Borgo Virgilio. To ensure the safety of the locals, a swift evacuation of 3,000 residents was carried out, allowing bomb disposal specialists to execute a meticulously controlled explosion. During this time, the airspace above the area was temporarily closed and river traffic on the Po was halted. The Po, Italy's longest river, typically flows from the towering Southwest Alps to the tranquil shores of the Adriatic Sea. However, this year's satellite images revealed increasingly vast stretches of parched riverbed. This was an alarming sight, brought on by an unprecedented drought. In response to this ecological crisis, Italian authorities declared an emergency for the Po's surroundings, as the river irrigates approximately one-third of the nation's agricultural output. The weakened flow of the river had even led to an unexpected intrusion of salty salt water, jeopardizing the livelihood of farmers in the Po Valley and imperiling their crops. Number 9. Hunger Stones In 2018, a growing concern about an impending drought gripped the scientific community. They diligently sounded the alarm, but nature had another means of issuing a stark warning. Across Europe, as water bodies began to wither in response to the impending dry spell, ancient sentinels known as hunger stones emerged from their watery slumber, revealing messages from the past. These hunger stones, etched with inscriptions from centuries long gone, served as poignant relics of earlier droughts. During times of severe droughts, our forebears etched warnings on these stones that typically lay submerged beneath the water's surface, hidden from view during normal conditions. These inscriptions conveyed dire messages, harbingers of impending famine. In times of yore, droughts were far more perilous than they are today. Less than a century ago, these dry spells meant not just parched land, but a barren harvest, leading to widespread famine. Our ancestors, ever resourceful, devised a way to leave behind cautionary tales for their descendants. One of the most renowned hunger stones is the one that surfaced in the Czech River Elbe, bearing an inscription that haunts the reader, If you see me, weep. This stone dates back to the year 1616, a stark reminder of the struggles faced by our predecessors in the face of relentless nature. These hunger stones are more than mere rocks. They are unique and poignant messages from the past proof of the resilience of our ancestors who sought to ensure that their descendants could learn from history and prepare for the challenges of an ever-changing world. Number 8. 1,500 Years Old Sword During the sunny summer of 2018, an extraordinary discovery unfolded in Sweden when a young adventurer, 8-year-old Saga Venecek, stumbled upon a relic from a pre-Viking era while taking a refreshing dip in Vidastern Lake. This picturesque lake was nestled near her family's cherished vacation home. The artifact she unearthed turned out to be a sword, initially believed to be a millennium old. However, local experts, intrigued by the remarkable find, now suggest it might be a staggering 1,500 years old. The mystery lay hidden for centuries, concealed beneath the lake's surface, and it was a drought that brought it to Saga's attention. As the water level receded, the shallow depths revealed their ancient secret. Saga's keen intuition led her to this remarkable discovery. She sensed something lurking beneath the water, and when she laid eyes on the sword's handle, she excitedly rushed to share her find with her father, Andy. At first, he thought it was a peculiar stick, or perhaps a waterlogged branch, but a closer examination by a friend revealed its true identity, an ancient relic of immense historical value. Now, this exceptional artifact resides in a local museum, where experts have marveled at its remarkably preserved state. In the wake of Saga's discovery, further excavations have taken place at the site, 
revealing even more treasures. In addition to the sword, a brooch from the 3rd century emerged from the depths of the lake. The investigation into Vidastern Lake continues, with the county museum at the helm, and who knows what other hidden wonders might surface in the future. Number 7. Frozen Alligator In 2018, North Carolina's natural park showcased an astounding example of nature's resilience as alligators adapted to an unusually harsh winter in the United States. The winter brought frigid air temperatures that neared record lows, causing many bodies of water to freeze. Even the swampy sanctuaries of Shalott River Swamp Park were not spared from this icy embrace. Inhabitants of these swamps, the alligators, confronted a seemingly insurmountable challenge. But in the face of adversity, they displayed remarkable survival instincts. The park's attentive staff bore witness to a peculiar and captivating sight. The snouts of these cold-blooded reptiles protruding from the frozen swamp's surface. At first glance, it might appear that the icy grip of winter had caught these alligators off guard, trapping them as they attempted to leave the water for the safety of the land. However, one astute park employee shared pictures and a video to elucidate the true story behind this phenomenon. As it turns out, the alligators had devised a fascinating strategy for enduring the cold. They poked their snouts out of the ice while their bodies entered a state of hibernation. The ice acted like a natural cradle, holding their dormant forms and preventing them from sinking. To the casual observer, it might have seemed as though they were lifeless, but this was a clever ruse to conserve energy during the harsh winter. As the days grew warmer and the ice melted, these flexible reptiles gradually returned to their normal, active lives, an awe-inspiring proof of their ability to adapt and thrive in the most extreme conditions. Number 6. Dinosaur Fossil In the enchanting surroundings of Rutland Water Nature Reserve, a remarkable fossil emerged, unveiling the secrets of an ancient sea-dweller, the Ichthyosaur. This majestic creature, measuring an impressive 32 feet in length and dating back approximately 180 million years, once roamed the Earth's oceans. Ichthyosaurs, often referred to as sea dragons, possessed the sleek, streamlined shape reminiscent of today's dolphins. These magnificent reptiles varied greatly in size, spanning from petite three-foot individuals to colossal 82-foot leviathans, the custodians of this remarkable reserve, Anglian Water, have embarked on a quest to secure funding for the preservation and public exhibition of the newfound marvel. This fossil, the largest of its kind ever unearthed in the UK, is not just a spectacular find. It's believed to be the very first specimen of its ichthyosaur species ever discovered at Rutland Water. The colossal fossil block encased a colossal six-foot-tall skull along with the surrounding clay, weighing a staggering ton. It was during the routine draining of a lagoon island for landscaping purposes on February 2021 that Joe Davis, the conservation team leader at Leicester and Rutland Wildlife Trust, stumbled upon this awe-inspiring treasure. For Mr. Davis, this momentous discovery represented a truly fascinating and career-defining highlight. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Deep in the heart of an ancient, nearly desiccated riverbed, five brave scientists stumbled upon a disgusting secret of nature's design. The sun's relentless rays had exposed the remains of a colossal, inscrutable monster. Its presence was accidental, but its implications were vast and terrifying. This discovery in a river scared scientists. It sent shivers down their spines as if they'd encountered an alien entity. This riverbed held secrets from an age long forgotten, but this creature defied all known science. Its skull was immense, adorned with fearsome, lion-like teeth, hinting at a predatory past. The creature's body stretched out, flanked by two pairs of legs reminiscent of colossal insects. The monster was a leviathan, a monstrosity that challenged the very foundations of their understanding. Its enormity was evident, as it dwarfed the boat they used to transport it to their scientific laboratory. Driven by equal parts curiosity and trepidation, the scientists embarked on a journey to explore this uncanny beast, to decode the riddle of its existence. They theorized, debated, and examined every aspect of the creature, seeking to unravel its mysteries. 
as they meticulously analyzed every bone, every inch of this nightmarish puzzle, they ventured deeper into a world of uncertainty. Was it a prehistoric aberration, a survivor of a long-lost age, or something altogether more inexplicable? The answer remained elusive, a riddle that challenged their scientific prowess. The journey to decode the secrets of the mysterious monster had begun, and it was a journey fraught with fear, fascination, and the unknown. What do you think about what we just showed you? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. 4.5 Billion Year Old Meteorite Back on November 27, 2015, a remarkable event graced the skies above the vast Australian outback. It was a dazzling green fireball, racing through the heavens, leaving all who gazed in awe. The sighting sent a buzz through the scientific community as meteorite enthusiasts embarked on a quest to uncover the celestial source of this mesmerizing spectacle. Dedicated researchers were quick to spring into action. They combed the arid landscape, tirelessly searching for the space rock responsible for this astonishing astronomical display. Their diligence and patience paid off just a week later when they unearthed a 1.6-kilogram meteorite from the salty mud near a desert lake bed. This celestial rock was no ordinary find. It had likely taken shape more than 4.5 billion years ago during the birth of our solar system. The researchers had set up a network of 32 remote sky-gazing cameras throughout the Australian outback, known as the Desert Fireball Network. Even residents joined in the excitement when several of these cameras captured the green fireball's journey across the night sky. With their meticulously collected data, the researchers pinpointed the most probable location of the meteorite's fall. A flyover of the area revealed a small, yet promising crater-like impact in the dried-up Kati Thunder Lake bed, nestled in the Australian state of South Australia. Racing against time and impending rain, the team conducted a three-day ground survey just after Christmas, hoping to secure their discovery before nature washed away any signs of the impact. With anticipation and excitement in the air, a team member plunged his hands into the mud and triumphantly pulled out the meteorite from its hiding place in the lake bed. It marked a momentous achievement, as this find was the first of its kind using the Desert Fireball Network. Number 4. The Swamp Monster Back in the 1980s, high in the majestic Alps, where a team of archaeologists made an astonishing discovery. Among the rugged peaks and pristine landscapes, they stumbled upon the ancient remains of four remarkable creatures, phytosaurs of a species unknown to the world until that moment. These fossils had rested in silent slumber for eons, waiting to unveil their secrets to the curious minds of the present. At first glance, the skulls of these phytosaurs bear a striking resemblance to the modern-day crocodiles or gharials, making it tempting to assume a direct familial connection. However, as diligent scientists delved deeper into their research, a surprising truth emerged. There was no family tie between these creatures. The phytosaurs and their crocodilian lookalikes were separated by the vast chasm of evolutionary time. This fascinating puzzle leads us to a concept known as convergent evolution, a phenomenon where different species independently evolve similar traits due to shared environmental pressures. In the case of these ancient phytosaurs, they were amphibious reptiles dwelling in the meandering rivers and tranquil lakes of their time. The phytosaur fossils found in the Alpines held even more secrets. These creatures reached an impressive length of four meters, and it was revealed that all four specimens were maturing when their lives came to a halt at the tender age of eight. This discovery marked a significant turning point for paleontology, shining a radiant light on a previously uncharted species of phytosaurs. Number 3. The Thousand Eye Bridge Beneath the tranquil waters of a Chinese lake, a remarkable relic from the Ming Dynasty lay hidden, waiting for the perfect moment to unveil its historical glory. This ancient marvel was a bridge that once held the esteemed title of China's longest lake bridge, spanning Poyang Lake for an impressive two miles. For centuries, it had served as a vital lifeline, connecting people who relied on its sturdy structure for transportation. But time had a different plan for the bridge. It met its watery fate when rising lake waters swallowed it whole, 
concealing it beneath the lake's surface for nearly 400 years. However, the grip of nature was not to last. A prolonged drought during the dry season coaxed the bridge back into the open, drawing visitors from far and wide to witness the re-emergence of this remarkable relic. This granite wonder, extending over 2,500 feet, was originally constructed in 1631. Its 1,100 distinctive holes earned it the name Thousand Eye Bridge, a testament to its architectural ingenuity. During the twilight of the Ming Dynasty, it served as a crucial link between major cities and the fishing communities scattered around the lake's shores, facilitating the flow of people, goods, and culture. Poyang Lake, China's largest freshwater lake, had long played a pivotal role in the history of the Ming Dynasty. Since the days when the first emperor vanquished the Han clan in 1363, establishing the dynasty, the lake has been etched into the annals of history as a place of significant importance. At the end of the Ming Dynasty, over a thousand bridges of similar design graced the surface of this immense lake. Number 2. The Mystical Frog of Chongqing During their research expedition in Chongqing, a team of Chinese zoologists stumbled upon a surprise. As they ventured deeper into the lush landscape, an eerie, unfamiliar sound echoed from a nearby swamp. Intrigued, they cautiously approached. Their curiosity piqued. Their quest led them to a nondescript frog, perfectly blending into its swampy surroundings. This unassuming amphibian, once captured, became the key to a groundbreaking discovery. With great care, the scientists conducted a meticulous DNA analysis, unveiling the existence of an entirely new frog species previously unknown to science. In honor of its place of discovery, they bestowed upon it the name Nidana Chong Chinensis, paying homage to the city of Chongqing. Measuring a mere four centimeters in length, the Chongqing frog boasts a dark brown back adorned with delicate spots, while its underbelly boasts a gentle, creamy hue. Perhaps the most mesmerizing feature of this newfound creature is its striking multicolored iris. Its upper part gleams a brilliant yellow, gracefully fading into a warm brown-red below. These intriguing frogs have taken refuge in mountain swamps and serene ponds, blending seamlessly with their surroundings by nestling amongst dry leaves. This impressive camouflage had kept them hidden from human eyes for generations. Though much about their behavior remains shrouded in mystery, researchers have observed that the males produce a distinctive screeching sound during the night. With this remarkable discovery, the scientific community now focuses its collective efforts on unraveling the secrets of the ambiguous Chongqing frogs, shedding light on their hidden world. Number 1. The World's Largest Bacterium In the year 2022, amidst the enchanting mangrove swamps of the Caribbean islands, a group of brave scientists unearthed a revelation that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Their groundbreaking discovery centered around a bacterium of astonishing proportions, a microorganism of such magnitude that it left researchers in awe. They aptly christened this colossal marvel Tom Margarita Magnifica. What truly sets these remarkable microorganisms apart is their staggering size. Stretching nearly a centimeter in length, they dwarf their microscopic counterparts by a mind-boggling factor of over 5,000 times. Astonishingly, these bacterial giants are not confined to the realm of microscopes. They're visible even to the unaided eye, their appearance resembling delicate, elongated threads that bear a striking resemblance to eyelashes. Upon closer examination, it was revealed that the bacteria are composed of minuscule sulfur granules, casting a unique and radiant sheen upon their slender forms. Intriguingly, the story of these captivating bacteria dates back to 2009, when a French scientist initially stumbled upon them. However, he misconstrued them as fungi and, regrettably, never ventured further into their study. In the wake of meticulous analysis, it became abundantly clear that these Caribbean bacteria are prokaryotes, lacking the telltale membrane-bound nucleus. They draw their life force from the oxidation of reduced sulfur, a characteristic that sets them apart in the microbial world. Not only do they astound with their gigantic stature, 
but they are equally extraordinary in that they exist as solitary, self-sufficient cells. Which of these 15 most amazing discoveries do you find interesting and mysterious? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.